Good morning, middle one. Today we are going to talk about lesson three of unit one, which is talking about the chemical equation and chemical reactions. Now we have an experiment to show the chemical reaction. First, we will burn a ribbon of magnesium in air. We will observe that the magnesium is changed into white powder and heat energy is released. So, when we put magnesium to oxygen, magnesium oxide will be formed. We can conclude from here that the heat energy has broken the double covalent bond that exists between the oxygen molecule. So, each oxygen atom joins a magnesium atom forming magnesium oxide molecule. So, the chemical reaction it is the breaking down in the bond existed in the reactant molecule to form a new bond in the product molecule. And you have to know that the chemical reaction must be represented by a chemical equation, which is known as the chemical equation. What's mean by chemical equation? It's set of symbol and formula representing the reactant molecule, the product, and condition of the reaction. So here we have example, if we add carbon plus oxygen, by heating we will get carbon dioxide CNO2 here in the left. Uh, left side they are the reactants and this triangle is the heating triangle or the condition reaction CO2 is the product you have to know that the chemical equation must be balanced I mean that the number of atom of the reactants must be equal to the number of atom in the product so here let's check up an example if we add Mg plus O2 to give 2 MgO uh, where is the balance here we have if we count the reactant here we will find that we have one magnesium here and two oxygen in the reactant but in the product we have two magnesium and two oxygen so the magnesium uh, must uh, increase to another one so we will balance this equation to put two beside the mg to be 2 mg plus o2 equal 2 mg o the next example we have H2 plus Cl2 will give us HCl. To balance this equation, we'll count first 2 H, 2 Cl, 1 H, 1 Cl. So we will write 2 beside HCl to give 2 for H1. Now, how can you calculate the mass of the reactant and the product from the following chemical equation? Uh, you have to note that for each element, there is mass number or the atomic mass like in this example 2 mg plus O2 equal 2 mgO if you know that the mass of mg is 24 and the mass of oxygen is 16 so calculate the mass of the reactant and the product first we will write as a number below each symbol for 2 mg 24 times 2 O2 2 times 16 2 mgO 2 mgO means that the 2 is uh, for the mg and o so 2 open bracket 16 plus 24 if we will make the first one 48 plus 32 will be 80 gram and in the product we will find also 2 times 48 equal 18 gram from this example we can conclude that the reactant masses are equal to the product masses so it is the law of conservation of matter or masses which is say which say that the sum of the reactant masses equal to the sum of product masses so you have to know that the chemical equation must be balanced why to achieve the law of conservation of matter now we will talk about the law of constant ratios you have to know that the chemical compound is produced from combination of atoms of two elements or more by constant weight ratio so uh, we will study the equation of magnesium oxide during the reaction of magnesium and oxygen to form magnesium oxide by repeating different weight masses we will find the same result so you have to know that the magnesium will react with oxygen by ratio 3 to 2 and this is the law of constant ratio that the chemical compound is formed from combination of its element by constant weight ratios now let's start uh, let's start by the types of chemical reaction direct chemical reaction or direct combination reaction 
we have two types of direct combination reaction element plus element or element plus compound or even compound plus compound the element must be two non-metals or metal and non-metal so if we begin by two non-metals C plus O2 which uh, both are non-metals will give us CO2 H2 plus Cl2 will give us two HCl which are both two non-metals Metal and non-metal 2Mg which is metal plus O2 which is non-metal will give us 2MgO and the next type of chemical reaction element plus compound 2CO which is compound plus O2 which is element give us 2CO2 which is compound 2NO which is mean nitrogen monoxide plus oxygen will give us 2NO2 which is this example is example on element plus compound compound plus compound we will add two compounds to give us another new compound ammonia plus hydrochloric acid give us ammonium chloride NH3 plus HCl concentrated HCl will give us NH4Cl uh, you have to know that we have if we water the glass road with ammonia close to mouth our test tube contain conch hydrochloric acid white clouds of ammonium chloride is formed now we have some life applications on chemical reaction in our life you have to know that the chemical reaction are used in many industries as medicine uh, fertilizer fuel plastic and others chemical reaction also have negative effect as they uh, as the emission that pollute the air such as fuel burning reduce carbon dioxide carbon dioxide which increase the earth's atmosphere which makes the greenhouse effect uh, uh, carbon dioxide which permit the penetration of the thermal prevent the penetration of thermal rays uh, to back to the sun carbon monoxide which cause headache fainting and stomach ache and in many cases it leads to death sulfur oxides which are used as acidic uh, gases that cause respiratory system breathing uh, problems uh, building corrosion for the SO2 sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide and nitrogen oxide which is produced during the lightning it's uh, the uh, are poisonous and affect nervous system and eye. You have to know that if we burn uh, the coal and the cellulose fibers such as papers and cigarettes, this will cause lung cancer.